morning. I'm Bob Zykowitz, your host, and today is a real important day, June 6th. What is, where were you 73 years ago? But that's uh, beside the point. I'm Bob Zykowitz, and my guest this morning is lovely Kelly Lukshander. You brought somebody with you. Yes, I did. Um, this morning, I have two gentlemen next to me. I have Bob Gulrick and Leo Ropo from the Ballroom Dance Group. Uh -huh. And on this beautiful spring day, I'm going to let them wrap up later and talk about a luau coming to Green Spring this Friday. So a I'll luau. tease you with that. But I have plenty of events coming up this month of June for Updates, community resources. Whatever. Updates, events, just stay by your, your agenda if you have one. Get a pencil ready because this month is filled with activities you don't want to miss. Wow. I'll get right into it. Take over. So the first three events I'm going to talk, talk about are all entertainment related. So if you like coming down to the theater or the conference center for a show, you want to you wanna stay tuned for this. So our first event coming up is this Thursday, June the 8th, in the Village Square Theater. And it's a dancing group, and it's called Helping Hearts Through the Arts. Mm -hmm. So it's an interesting title. It's, it's a unique um, work with music and even poetry. And we're going to have resident Adrian Cannon reading a bit of poetry herself at the end of the uh -huh. performance or during it. So it's at 1 p.m. in the Village Square Theater on this Thursday, June the 8th. Who's going to read the poem? Adrian Cannon. She's Thank a resident you. here. And okay. the last thing I want to say about this is it's free. Oh, it's free. A beautiful uh -huh. Thursday afternoon. I would come check this out in the theater at 1 p.m. this okay. Thursday. Next up, I have something coming up this Sunday, June 11th, in the Hunters Crossing Conference Center. And it's part of the uh, Sydney Foster Concert Series. We have the National Concert Band coming here. Um, there are going to be $5 tickets sold at the door as usual, or if you have your season ticket, you're able to come right in. So come down and see. It's a great band. I think we've had them here before. Mm -hmm. um, if you have nothing to do on this Sunday or you want to see some good music, head down to the Conference Center. All right, jumping next into it, we have Dale Jarrett coming again this Monday. Always a, a winner. Yes, so Monday, June the 12th, we'll have Dale Jarrett back here at 12.30 p.m., his new time, at, in the Village Square Theater, and it's free, all invited. I know it's nice to see him in the theater now. We get a little bit, you know, comfier seats, a nice yeah. setting, and he has a little bit more opportunity to show off his talents for us, so sure. we appreciate that. Okay, the next two things I'm going to announce are very important. So elections, we have primary elections coming this Tuesday, June the 13th. We have our own precinct here at Greenspring, which I've come on with Kathleen Henry to talk about already. So if you are registered to vote, which you should be at Greenspring, we mm -hmm. have one of the highest amount of voter turnout here, come down to the conference center from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., the Hunters Crossing Conference Center, to vote. And bring your photo ID, make sure you have that with you. Um, we also have a special traffic pattern, which if you've voted here before, you know it. It's for the elevators for Election Day. We reserve the one elevator in Hunter's Crossing for going down only, and then the service back elevator is going up only. So there will be signs everywhere, and I'll be there chasing you down if you go the wrong way. So get down there to vote, though. That's the main thing. On the 13th, uh, yeah, Tuesday, June 13th, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., polls are open. Can a walker go up the elevator? Yeah, oh, so a walker, the stairs remain the same. I don't mean a... You mean a person who I walks. I mean the person who walks. Yeah, they can oh, use okay. the stairs. Nothing changes with the no, stairs. No, but can they go up the elevator? You can. You can. Because uh, it's going to be empty going up. That's right. You might as oh, well. <laughs> but you can't go there. Okay. Right. Okay, the next thing. This is coming up next Friday, June 16th. Now, this is the Profiles of Honor Mobile Tour Interactive Exhibit. Oh. Now, what is that? You probably wonder. It's a big yeah. thing. So this is new to Greenspring this year, and it's sponsored by Community Resources, but it's through the Virginia World War I <coughs> and World War II Commission based in Richmond. And this is a mobile exhibit that travels around. It's a 36-foot-long bus, basically, that wow. people can go inside and explore different exhibits from World War I and II. I believe mm -hmm. it's mostly focused on World War II. We can have 15 people in the exhibit at a time, and we are going to have this this big bus exhibit here at Greenspring in the Hunters Crossing parking lot um, this Friday, coming Friday, June the 16th, the next Friday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now the bus will be here, rain to shine, you know, no matter what. If it's raining, but we are going to have tents out there. If we have a line, we're going to have some tents to cover us from sun or rain, and we'll also have some lemonade to keep us cool if it's if it's a warm day, but. We can have 15 people on the bus at a time. It's handicap accessible, so if you're worried about that, everybody is able to get in. 
bring your friends or family if they're here on campus, but we aren't opening it to the outside unless they're uh -huh. with somebody from Green Spring. Right. Um, another thing to note about this exhibit coming, which is very exciting for our residents and other veterans, is the commission will be scanning in documents or photos that any Green Spring resident has from World War I or World War II. So if you have a photograph of yourself in uniform or of a friend, you have a certificate, we will have this mobile scanning um, opportunity that day. So that means your document will be forever with this exhibit with the Virginia World War I and World War II Commission, which is very exciting. So preserve those, those, um, those, that part of history and be a part of this exhibit yourself. So we'll have those scanning tables inside the Hunter's Crossing lobby on Friday, the June 16th from 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 3 p.m. So bring anything you have. It's only documents or flat pieces. It's nothing like a, a trophy or a medal, no 3D items, but bring your documents. So that should, be, that should be really nice. Oh, and one more thing. If you are a veteran and you are out there, look out for a Channel 6 camera because we're going to be doing some interviews with veterans as we see them, if they'd like. So mm -hmm. we're going to show that on Channel 6 later. So if you're out there, look for the camera. We'll be there. <laughs> Kelly, yes. you have come up with, to me, two very important yes. occasions. Let's repeat these sure. for our viewers. Absolutely. First is? Yes, Tuesday, June 13th, elections. Elections. It's primary elections for governor and lieutenant governor, Democratic and Republican candidates. Okay. Um, and we'll be there in the Hunter's Crossing Conference Center from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Just bring your photo ID to, to vote. You need that. And then the second thing is Friday, June the 16th, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., the Profiles of Honor, um, Pro Profiles of Honor Mobile Tour Interactive Exhibit. Mm -hmm. We'll be in Hunter's Crossing in the parking lot and come and scan any World War I or World War II documents that you may have Photos, in Hunter's yeah. Crossing. Mm -hmm. Photos or any sort of documents, letters, they're taking anything. So that's really important. I wouldn't miss that if you're a veteran or if you're not. That's a very important time to all of our mm -hmm. residents. Okay, moving right along, so I can get to these guys about the yep. luau. We have the Mormon Choir that will be here on Father's Day, June the 18th at 7 p.m. in the Hunters Crossing Conference Center. Mm. Tickets are $5 at the door, but the month keeps getting better with entertainment. I have one more entertainment item before please, the dance. Please go on. We have a special event here. Elizabeth Von Trapp will be here on Sunday, June 25th at 2.30 p.m. in the Village Square Theater. Wow. The Entertainment Roundtable wow. and Dining Services have teamed up and they're gonna offer this family day special at Greenspring for this concert. So for only $25 a person, you can make reservations at Woodland Skies for a special brunch before the concert with your family and your concert ticket is included with the price. So space is limited. You have to contact Dining Services to make your reservations, but it's an afternoon with Elizabeth Von Trapp, a brunch, and a show. It's going to be something. $25 tickets. Is she going to be at the brunch? I don't know if she'll make an appearance. Uh -huh. I'm sure she might like a waffle. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> that would. I'd give you a little bit of extra time just to chat with her. Oh, absolutely. But this is going to be a stellar yes. appearance. Yes. This is a wow. don't, don't want to miss. She's going to be here on campus. Bring the family. Have brunch with Dining Services has offered this bundle of $25. You get brunch and a show. Amazing. I'm hoping that the theater will be jam-packed. I'm sure it will. So get your tickets yeah. early. Call yeah. through the main dining services line, which is 604-4200. Okay, Bob. Boy, you have really come up with I have. Whew, my head's spinning. Really wonderful. <laughs> we are jam-packed this June. We're celebrating spring and the beginning of summer. Uh -huh. So I want to pass it off to these gentlemen next to me to talk about a luau coming up this Friday. So, Bob, if you would take it away and talk about your dance. Uh, thank you, Kelly. Um, as, as, as you and Bob mentioned, uh, Leo and I are representing the Green Spring Ballroom Dance Group. Uh, I will talk first about our upcoming dance Friday evening, June 9th, in the Hunters Crossing Conference Center. Uh, we have a band, Mike Surratt, and um, he has two pieces with him, saxophone and drums. He's our regular band here. Uh -huh. uh, plays great listening and dancing music. Um, anybody can, anyone can come, guest, Green Spring resident and guest. There is a charge of $8 for tickets or in advance, or $10 if you want to wait and pay at the door. Uh, it's always a, a great event. We have it uh, four times a year in uh, March, 
June, September, December, we have a band dance in Hunters Crossing Conference Center. Uh, the, uh, the food the food is uh, not catered, but uh, some of our volunteers bring food and set up a, a snack table. And um, uh, drinks are, uh, you can bring your own drinks. So we want to urge er everyone to come. I think there was a, a poster up on the uh, screen that showed a phone number, which is my phone number, to uh, call for tickets. Uh, it's not too late. We still have three days, so we're urging everyone to come out to our uh, Friday night Hawaiian luau dance, uh, uh, which is which was one of our series. Now, then Leo is going to talk about other ballroom dance activities here in Green Spring. Take it over, Leo. Yes, okay, well. Spotlight's on you. Our dance group is very active, and uh -huh. uh, I'm going to outline for you. Every Friday night, we have ballroom dancing in the Akatink Room. Akatink Room? Akatink? Yes, 7 to 9 o'clock. Uh, it's very popular. We average about uh, 25, 30 people every, every Friday. Oh, how nice. Yeah, great. And then uh, Sunday nights, uh, we have dance lessons from 7 to 8 in the Akatink Room. Oh, really? Now, that's su suspended during the summer months, uh, but we are going to have one day, one Sunday of each month, June, July, and August, mm -hmm. which is the second Sunday mm -hmm. of each month, for a ballroom dance review, which Linda Conlon will conduct for us. So in addition to that, uh, to follow up the dance lessons on Wednesdays, we have a workshop and we cover the things that we learned Sunday night because, you know, we forget very quickly <laughs> and we have to get these dance steps yeah. down pat. So, and then we have, uh, Bob mentioned the live dance band that we have, very popular. And in addition to that, we have uh, uh, specialty dances or special theme dances. We have uh, Fourth of July, we have uh, New Year's Eve, and we have Halloween dances. And we invite a lot of people to come down you don't have to dance, just uh, bring your favorite beverage and uh, some food, snacks to share, and we have a grand time, and we get great turnout for Can this. we bring your alcoholic Absolutely. beverages? Absolutely, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And also, we have one other thing that we do. Um, the third Wednesday of every month, we go to Garden Ridge, and we dance with the residents. Oh, and uh, it's a wonderful program, and uh, we look forward to it, and the residents look forward That's to wonderful. it. That's yeah, wonderful. It, it really is. At the Hawaiian dance, are we going to do a, a hula? Uh, we are, Bob. We're counting on you to lead it. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> uh, sad to say, you know, we, we have put out so much information this morning. Yes. But our time is up. Well, Bob... If I could interject, please. talking about Elizabeth Von Trapp, I missed my final event to mention. For the month of June, to wrap it up, the Village Fair is back. Oh. Every year we have this, all of our resident groups that are here, whether it's the chess club, whether it's ballroom dance, the choristers, they host an information table. So if you're looking for a, a group to join or to help out with, come to the Village Fair, see what we have. And the theme this year is Surf's Up at Green Spring. So it's going to be another nice summer theme. I do want to say one thing before we sign off. If you've missed some of the information that has been put out here, there's a rebroadcast at 12. Tune in and then you have your pencil and paper ready. Kelly, Bob, and Leo, thank you ever so much. You've been a wealth of information. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. And we thank you for having, coming on. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, now we have a roll and may we have that please.